Hello and welcome to my Task 3 Marketing for Social Change Intervention Plan presentation. My name is Georgia Bachianis and my intervention plan was created to influence the consumption of eco-friendly reusable bags. I would first like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Today's presentation explores the strategic development of a marketing intervention campaign that will effectively influence consumers to choose eco-friendly reusable shopping bags over reusable plastic bags. The intervention was created as a solution to reduce the overconsumption of reusable plastic bags as they are increasingly having a negative effect on the environment in the pre- and post-consumption stages. Desktop research discovered a range of key themes, barriers and motivational drivers for sustainable initiatives and pro-environmental behaviours. The target market for this intervention campaign has been progressively refined and is now detailed to target young, educated female shoppers who live out of home and carry out grocery shopping initiatives, as they are more inclined to change their behaviours to be more sustainable and environmentally conscious. The Think Better Choose Greener campaign is the proposed marketing intervention. The campaign will run for two years by Woolworths as part of the Sustainability Plan 2025. The campaign's main intervention focus is to introduce a new range of Australian-made, eco-friendly reusable shopping bags as alternatives to reusable plastic bags. This presentation uses elements of the marketing mix to break down strategic developments of the intervention campaign. The product strategy breaks down the core benefit, actual product and augmented product benefit of the campaign and potential monetary and non-monetary barriers and influences are discussed in the pricing strategy. The in-store placement of the campaign's marketing communications is detailed throughout the place strategy and the promotion strategy explains the promotional elements of the campaign that are critical for consumer awareness and successful behaviour influence. Mockups of the campaign's marketing communications include the point of purchase display, reusable bag range poster and campaign poster are presented in the media planning section of this presentation. The evaluation strategy details what, when and how the campaign's success will be evaluated and improved. Finally, ethical considerations, unintended consequences and potential resistance that the campaign may face have also been addressed. Before I start, this is an outline of today's presentation. The purpose of this presentation was to develop an innovative and ethical intervention plan to influence the consumption of eco-friendly reusable bags. This consumption behaviour is a solution to the societal issue of the overconsumption of reusable plastic bags, derived from the need to reduce plastic consumption at a global level. This presentation will first detail key research findings from the previous synopsis and scoping study, strategy elements of the intervention plan like the intervention's aims and potential partners and important stakeholders will be discussed. The presentation breaks down the marketing mix's four P's, product, price, place and promotion strategies in accordance to the campaign. Mockups of the campaign's creative media planning are also presented. And finally, the evaluation strategy, ethical considerations and potential unintended consequences are also detailed. The proposed intervention plan was developed to influence consumers to adopt a new behaviour of purchasing and reusing eco-friendly reusable bags. This solution is in response to the pressing social issue of the overconsumption of reusable plastic bags. These thicker, more durable, reusable plastic shopping bags were introduced to replace single-use plastic shopping bags. However, the lack of reuse, short lifespan and irresponsible disposal of these thicker plastic bags are causing similar, if not more, detrimental effects on the environment. This societal issue derives from the need to reduce plastic consumption and promote pro-environmental choices across the globe. The prior scoping study explored academic and credible literature which created a foundation of knowledge to develop innovative solutions to influence consumers to adopt their behaviour. Conductive research focused on the consumption of plastic and non-plastic reusable bags, pro-environmental behaviours and interrelated social marketing theories. Key themes and concepts commonly reiterated through conducted research were environmental knowledge, concern and consciousness, government policies and plastic bag bans, ethical norms, non-plastic reusable bag attributes like perceived price, perceived value and product appearance, economic gain, social influence, past experiences and utilitarian values. The theory of planned behaviour and other social marketing theories and concepts were studied in relation to sustainable and pro-environmental behaviour consumption literature. This theory explains that the intention to perform a behaviour is influenced by an individual's attitudes, subjective norms and perceived behavioural control. This framework shows the key factors contributing to the marketing campaign's intervention plan to effectively influence the intentional behaviour of consuming eco-friendly alternative reusable bags. 
On the left-hand side, key research themes and concepts correlate to their own element of the theory, which drives intention and initiates behaviour change in consumers. Throughout research, environmental knowledge and awareness were consistent themes that positively influenced consumers' attitudes and perceived behavioural control towards pro-environmental behaviours. Marketing the alternatives to non-plastic reusable shopping bags and their comparisons in-store is supported to educate and influence consumers' behaviours to choose alternate options at the point of consumption. The specific target market for the proposed intervention plan is young, educated female shoppers who live at a home and typically perform grocery shopping initiatives. As this demographic visits grocery stores more frequently, they are more exposed and aware of reusable bag options. This market segment is also more emotionally invested and educated on environmental issues and concerns, which support their willingness to change their behaviours to support pro-environmental and sustainability initiatives. Prior research detailed that awareness and promotion of alternatives is an effective intervention to influence consumers to change their behaviour around pro-environmental and sustainable initiatives. Therefore, the developed intervention is a social marketing campaign run by Woolworths promoting eco-friendly reusable bag options to consumers. The campaign is titled Think Better, Choose Greener and will have one central intervention aspect and additional promotional elements. To start, we will overview the strategy and detail the aims, potential partners, and important intervention stakeholders. We will then explore the detailed strategic development by breaking down the elements of the campaign's marketing mix, then finally discuss the media planning and evaluation of the strategy. The Think Better, Choose Greener marketing campaign is set to be introduced as a component of Woolworths Growing Greener campaign. This campaign is a sustainability initiative program that Woolworths Group introduced as part of the Sustainability Plan 2025. Woolworths supermarkets have already introduced sustainability initiatives like the removal of single-use plastics, plastic packaging reduction, zero food waste to landfill by 2025, all stores powered by green electricity by 2025, responding to climate change and improving animal welfare standards. The Think Better Choose Greener marketing intervention campaign includes launching a new eco-friendly reusable shopping bag range that is an alternative to thick plastic reusable bags. The new range of bags will include 20 cent paper bags, 15 cent recycled plastic reusable bags, the 99 cent bag for good, 99 cent foldable bags, $2.49 chiller bags, $3 macro duco bags, and the introduction of brand new $1.50 cotton string bags, $3 green fleet jute bags, and $2 cotton produce bags. As part of the launch, all eco-friendly reusable bags will be Australian made. The initial launch of the marketing campaign will be promoted for one month in and outside of stores. Marketing communications of the campaign will include an in-store point-of-purchase display showcasing all the eco-friendly reusable bag alternatives mentioned previously. Woolworths supermarkets will have promotional posters and Woolworths radio media advertisements in-store. An additional TV, website and social media marketing will be advertised. Everyday rewards points will be offered as an indirect monetary incentive to customers purchasing new reusable bags alternatives during the first month of the initial campaign launch. The campaign will launch in February 2022 after the Christmas, New Year's and Australia Day holiday season and run for two years. Marketing communications will remain present throughout the interventions campaign. However, promotion of the campaign will reside after the initial one month launch period. The Think Better, Choose Greener marketing campaign is a downstream interventional approach that will run for two years in-store Woolworths supermarkets. The intervention aims to influence young female grocery shoppers to adopt a new behaviour of purchasing eco-friendly reusable shopping bag alternatives. The campaign has specific marketing objectives to increase consumer awareness of eco-friendly reusable bag alternatives and demarket reusable plastic bags. The campaign's message is that consumers have more options for eco-friendly reusable bags that can be purchased in-store. Marketing this through a point-of-purchase display and in-store marketing communication channels directly delivers the message to the targeted market. Proceeds from the current sales of the Bag for Good fund the Woolworths Junior Landcare Grants Program, which encourages young Australians to play an active role in guaranteeing the sustainable future of their environment. Woolworths should partner with Greenfleet, an Australian and New Zealand environmental organisation that mitigates impacts of climate change and restores damaged ecosystems. The new $3 Greenfleet jute bag introduced with the intervention campaign would partner with Greenfleet and 30 cents from every bag purchased in Australia and New Zealand would be donated to Greenfleet's environmental initiatives. Similarly, competitor Coles partnered with a range of Australian charities to bring out a range of reusable bags, which provide donations from each sale to partnering charities.
Specifically, in 2018, Coles partnered with Clean Up Australia to bring out a range of graphic designed reusable jute bags. A portion of the sale is donated to Clean Up Australia volunteer efforts. In late 2020, Woolworths partnered with family owned Australian manufacturer Debt Pack to produce locally made paper shopping bags available in Victoria, Tasmanian, and Western Australian stores. Woolworths should continue this partnership with Debt Pack but extend Australian made paper bags to be available in all stores nationwide. As part of the campaign launch, all eco-friendly reusable bags will be Australian made to support onshore production, local industries and Australian jobs. The Think Better, Choose Greener social marketing campaign has three aspects of the product strategy. The core product benefit, the actual product and the augmented product benefit. Establishing value for consumers at each product stage of the intervention improves the influence on consumption behaviours while limiting resistance and reactance of the targeted consumer markets. The core product benefit of the campaign is that consuming eco-friendly reusable bags is becoming increasingly beneficial to the environment and increases the individual's personal morale. The campaign's actual product is the desired behaviour of consumers. In this case, the actual product is the increased range of eco-friendly reusable bag alternatives for shoppers to choose from. All eco-friendly reusable bags will be offered in Woolworths, signature green colour and logo branding. Extending the range means that there is a bag for any type of shopper, which will influence more of the target market to adopt the desired behaviour of choosing eco-friendly reusable bags over plastic reusable bags. As mentioned previously, the range of Woolworths reusable bags will be extended to include locally made Australian bags of all shapes and sizes. The range extension will also include new reusable produce bags. These product attributes attract more consumers to purchase the bags in support of onshore production industries and local jobs. The augmented product from the campaign is that money is donated from the sale of the bag for good and the new $3 green fleet jute bag. The ability for consumers to reuse the bags is also an additional augmented product benefit, as spending more on an initial purchase of the bag will motivate consumers to remember to bring their bags the next time they shop. The price of eco-friendly reusable bags may be a barrier influencing the adoption of the behaviour. The monetary cost of eco-friendly reusable bags is significantly higher compared to reusable plastic bags due to production and reusability factors. To overcome this initial negative monetary barrier, Everyday Rewards will promote that customers can earn points when purchasing new eco-friendly reusable bags during the first month of the campaign. Like for example, offering Everyday Rewards members the opportunity to earn 300 points when they purchase the $3 macro Juco bag in the first month of the campaign. This indirect monetary incentive motivates customers to adopt the actual behaviour in exchange for a benefit. 99 cent bag for good and new $3 green fleet jute bag are higher in price. However, the augmented benefit of the bag is presented in the price as a portion of the sales of these bags goes to the donating charities. The perceived monetary cost of these bags is reduced and influences consumers to choose these reusable bags as additional monetary benefits are going to charities beyond Woolworths. The higher price for eco-friendly reusable bags also motivates consumers to remember to bring their reusable bags every time they shop so that the initial cost of the bag is treated as a one-time expense. Higher prices also contribute to the augmented product benefit as eco-friendly reusable bags have longer lifespan and reusability compared to reusable plastic bags. The 15 cent reusable recycled plastic bag will remain in store however for those customers who cannot afford to purchase eco-friendly reusable bags every time they shop or when they forget to bring their reusable bags. The Think Better Choose Greener social marketing intervention has multiple elements to the campaign. So for the place strategy, we will discuss the placement of the in-store point of purchase marketing display, and then go into further detail of in-store promotional aspects of the campaign in the promotion strategy section. The placement of the point of purchase display is also crucial to the success of the intervention outcome. It needs to be ensured that the display of the alternative reusable bags is placed in the service area near the service desk and registers in all Woolworths supermarkets. This ensures that the intervention is presented to the targeted consumers at the point of consumption, which is when most consumers realise that they need to purchase new bags or have forgotten their own reusable bags. Marketing point of purchase and promotional elements of the intervention in-store is a critical factor to the success of the intervention campaign, as in-store is where the outlined target market will be directly marketed to. The initial launch stage and promotion of the Think Better Choose Greener campaign will run for one month starting in February 2022. During this first month, Woolworths will launch promotional marketing in-store like the point of purchase display, posters and promotional radio media advertisement that plays in-store on the Woolworths radio. 
As mentioned before, a promotion with Everyday Rewards will also promote the introduction of the eco-friendly reusable bags, as customers will be able to earn points on their shop when they purchase a bag from the range. Promotion of the campaign is just as important as the actual campaign itself. Other in-store promotional marketing around the supermarket, along with posters at the registers, is essential to provide customers with awareness about the campaign and the new range of eco-friendly reusable bags. In-store radio media advertisements is also another promotional element to the campaign that gives the opportunity to educate consumers that the intervention is part of the ongoing Going Greener campaign and sustainability initiatives that Woolworths is implementing throughout the stores. Research from the Price Scoping Study demonstrates that promotional marketing that provides awareness and knowledge to consumers is effective in influencing consumers' attitudes and perceived behavioural control, which initiates intentional behaviour change in relation to pro-environmental behaviours. Additional TV, website and social media marketing will also be advertised as part of the campaign. The initial promotion of the intervention campaign will run for the first month, but in-store point of purchase displays, radio media and promotional posters will continue to remain in-store for the total of the two-year intervention campaign. For the Think Better Choose Greener campaign, there are many interventions that will be introduced inside Woolworths supermarkets nationwide. This is a mock-up of the point of purchase display that showcases the range of new eco-friendly reusable bags that have been introduced as part of the campaign. The name of the intervention is displayed at the top of the display, as well as all the eco-friendly alternatives and their prices are available to consumers. This showcases the intervention's message that there are more eco-friendly reusable bag alternatives to choose from over plastic reusable bags. During the campaign, the display will be placed near the service desk and registers, as this is a critical placement in order to target the desired target market. The display will be made of sturdy hardware so that it can be presented in store for the entirety of the campaign without being damaged. In addition to the point of purchase display, a poster of the alternatives will be placed on notice boards near main registers to further increase customer awareness and knowledge about eco-friendly reusable bag options. Another poster about the campaign has been created to display at the entrance of the store to increase consumer knowledge and awareness of the new range of Australian-made eco-friendly reusable bags. The poster created is consistent with other Woolworths marketing communications found in-store and provides a link to the Woolworths website where customers can get further information about benefits of the new eco-friendly reusable bags, like their sustainability initiatives, partnerships and charity donations, ethical sourcing and Australian-made production. Likewise, with the point of purchase display, these awareness and promotional posters will remain in store for the two year duration of the intervention campaign. An evaluation strategy has been developed to ensure that the intervention campaign is effective at positively influencing consumer behaviours on reusable bags. Evaluating the success and effectiveness of the intervention is needed throughout the lifespan of the campaign. Specifically, evaluating the strategy at the six month point is crucial to understand the success of the initial launch and introduction of the campaign. To measure the success, Woolworths should conduct surveys in-store and through Everyday Rewards emails to question customers about their opinions and preference on the new eco-friendly reusable bags. Woolworths should evaluate the statistical data of the sales of each eco-friendly reusable bag in comparison to their plastic reusable bags. Evaluating the sales of the plastic reusable bags from previous years will also provide insights as to whether consumers are changing their behaviour to consume eco-friendly alternatives. This evaluation gives Woolworths additional insights into potential modifications of the intervention, future targets and future predictions for the production of eco-friendly reusable bags. An evaluation of the sales and progress of partnership bags like the Bag for Good and the Green Fleet bags are critical to ensure that enough sales of these bags are being made to support the donations and longevity of these partnerships. Evaluating these insights should be done every six months during the intervention campaign's lifespan to identify if the campaign is being successful at influencing consumers' behaviours and whether changes to the intervention are needed to be implemented. Ethical considerations have driven the creation of the Think Better Choose Green intervention campaign. As a whole, consuming eco-friendly reusable bags promotes pro-environmental, ethical and sustainable initiative choices of the individual. The introduction of Australian-made eco-friendly reusable bags further promotes the ethicalness of the campaign as it supports onshore jobs and industries and reduces negative environmental effects from post-production international transit. There is the potential that a portion of the target market may resist and resent the intervention's action to move consumers away from reusable plastic bags due to monetary and psychological costs. Therefore, as a part of the campaign, Woolworths will still offer reusable plastic bags as another alternative.
Potential unintended consequences and outcomes can arise from the implementation of this intervention campaign. A positive consequence is that the higher price of eco-friendly reusable bags will motivate consumers to remember and reuse the bags more often to get its full value for money and avoid having to repurchase these bags. Customers will also save money overall if they only have to buy a couple of reusable eco-friendly bags at once, rather than purchasing 15 cent reusable plastic bags every time they shop. Eco-friendly reusable bags also have more durability, reliability, and last longer compared to reusable plastic bags, meaning they should not have to replace them as frequently. On the other hand, eco-friendly reusable bags do have potential negative unintended consequences. Critics state that the production of eco-friendly reusable bags do use more energy and resources that negatively affect the environment compared to reusable plastic bags. There is also the risk that the reuse of eco-friendly reusable bags can contain bacteria, disease and cross-contamination from lack of cleanliness and washing. Another unintended barrier is that consumers may resist to adopt behaviour change due to the presumption that Woolworths is profiting from the sale of eco-friendly reusable bags. However, this potential effect is mitigated by partnering with charities for the sale of selected eco-friendly reusable bags. To conclude, the Think Better Choose Greener marketing intervention campaign was created to target the societal issue of the overconsumption of reusable plastic bags. The prior social cause synopsis and scoping study established a foundation of research to support the development of this intervention campaign to directly focus on the target market. For the intervention, the target market was developed to target young, educated female shoppers who live out of home and typically perform grocery shopping initiatives. The theory of planned behaviour and other social marketing theories and concepts supported intended behaviour change from this target market as a result of this marketing intervention campaign. During this presentation, we explored the Think Better, Choose Greener marketing intervention plan, the intervention structure, aim, potential partners, stakeholders, product, price, place, promotion, creative media planning, and evaluation strategy were detailed throughout ethical considerations and potential unintended consequences that may arise along with the campaign were also addressed. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation. These are a list of all my references. Thank you.